morning, my students at home. My name is Abu Muhammad Bashir, your business studies teacher from uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr Kumis Academy. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to look at uh, qualities of bookkeeper. Qualities of a bookkeeper. Uh, in our previous lesson, we, uh, we were able to look at the meaning of bookkeeping, which we rightly said that bookkeeping is the systematic recording of purchases and sales to, uh, in order to keep the business on board. And also we said it's uh, the recording of credit and cash transactions in a business organization. Inshallah, today we are going to uh, look at just what I said earlier, qualities of a bookkeeper. Uh, a bookkeeper is supposed to have the following qualities. But before I uh, go further to explain the qualities of a bookkeeper, what then is this qualities of a bookkeeper? The qualities of a bookkeeper simply means what does a, a, a bookkeeper entails in order to ensure the smooth uh, running of uh, his uh, daily activities. So, uh, as it is here, you can see that number one, objectiveness. What is this objectiveness? A bookkeeper is not supposed to be flexible or subjective in decisions. As a good bookkeeper, you are supposed to be what? Objective. That is your quality as a bookkeeper. You are, any decision you take in that business transaction, you are supposed to remain firm, not uh, flexible, in order to keep the business in the right direction. Secondly, decency. Decency. A bookkeeper should be decent in dressing and character. Yes, there is this adage that said, uh, the way you dress is the way you will be addressed. If you dress responsibly and decent in a business organization, in fact, a lot of people will uh, give you credit and will also respect you for the appearance you have because you need to appear decently in order to promote and grow your business to the next level. Uh, thirdly, integrity. Yes, this is, let me deviate a bit to politics. This is the mantra that brought uh, our president, uh, His Excellency General Muhammad Buhari, uh, to the power. What people know him for is what? Integrity. He is a man of his words. He doesn't uh, change from what you see today to already he changed from it's changed to another one he does he's not that kind of person so integrity a bookkeeper should maintain a good sense of integrity that is his his or her personality should not be questionable your personality as a good uh, bookkeeper should not be questionable you should not be that kind of person that is having a dubious character you should remain straight and the straight you should be known for forever. That is what integrity is all about. And uh, the next one is honesty. Honesty. He or she should be honest in dealing with people and in handling of book of account. As a good uh, bookkeeper, you are supposed to be honest. You are supposed to be the person of his words. You are supposed to have what truth in your mouth so that whatever you tell Mr. A, Mr. A will not doubt you. If you also tell Mr. B, Mr. B will not doubt you. And as such, you, um, in some instances, you will see that those in charge of businesses tell lies. What they will tell Mr. A is different from what they will tell Mr. B. And uh, there is another thing now again uh, now that is common. If you go into a, a shop to buy uh, an item, you see somebody who has never seen you before telling you that it's because of you. 
those are the kind of people that we are saying are not honest. So honesty is uh, part of uh, qualities of a good keeper. We are supposed to be honest all the times. So I uh, haven't uh, talked about the qualities of a bookkeeper. We are going to look at common bookkeeping practices. Common bookkeeping practices. The following practices are adopted in bookkeeping and they are as follows. Number one, the nearer uh, that is what I'm going to uh, explain or illustrate what is on this uh, instructional material now using practices that are adopted in bookkeeping. The Nera and Kobo signs, that is, this Nera sign and Kobo sign are usually written on top line and not beside the value in the column. So this is where they are written, on the top side of the amount, on the top side of the amount, not beside, not by the side of the value. That is what this uh, first article is uh, saying. Number two, after writing the Nera value, if there is no Kobo value, the space for Kobo is filled with zeros. Just take for instance, December 10, this person made purchase of Bayro at the rate of 45 Nera. There is no Kobo. You can see it's written in zero zero. Instead of you leaving the, the space blank, you are advised by you are guided by the practices to uh, cover the space with zero zero. Uh, number three, when a single line is drawn beneath an amount, it indicates that the value written under it is either a total or a remainder. This is what this number three is talking about. When a single line is drawn beneath, this one is drawn beneath is drawn beneath an amount, it indicates that the value written under it is either a total or a remainder. So that is this. The total of this will give you 24. And the line that is written below the total indicates that is what? A remainder or the total amount. Number four, when a double line is drawn under an amount, it indicates that the above uh, it indicates that the above, the double line, is a total or complete value. This is the double line we are talking about. This is the double line. So, as a bookkeeper, it is very, very important you abide by uh, these practices in order not to uh, get confused at the end of the day. So, uh, we are going to, this is where we are going to stop uh, for today's lesson and inshallah when we meet next we will continue from where we stop uh, these are homework I have for you so that you do them at home and uh, you forward for submission when the school resumes number one mention the four qualities of a bookkeeper mention the four qualities of a bookkeeper Number two, differentiate between bookkeeper and shopkeeper. Differentiate between bookkeeper and shopkeeper. Last, last but not the least, list the common bookkeeping practices you know. List the common bookkeeping practices you know. And this is my number. You can call me for further explanation in case uh, of any of the points I've explained that you don't understand so that I should uh, uh, explain to you better and this is my number 08065662156 thank you very much for uh, giving me your time till we meet in our next class bye